Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick chat about ESC firmware and specifically these ESCs I've got to try here from Oddity RC. Now these have a couple of things written on them that you might not have seen before. They are HF32 and AM32 and those are talking about the firmware that's actually on here. Most of us that fly quantum planes will be bumping into things like BL Heli S and other things on the ESCs that we've been using, if they use some form of BL Heli. And you'll have heard from the usual pundits talking about how BL Heli 32 has been cancelled because of its use in drones and theatres of war. Interestingly, I don't think that's going to impact us in the hobby at all. And checking with a couple of people that I know that's involved in the manufacture of single-use drones for munition delivery and things like that in this of war, it isn't affecting them either. So I'm really not sure what they hope to achieve by banning or outlawing BL Heli 32. The only big thing with BL Heli 32 from what I can see is that it did support larger batteries, things like 12S, whereas these support slightly lower maximum voltages. So I thought it'd be useful while I had these in and it also gave me an opportunity to chat to Audit TRC to find out a little bit more about AM32 and HF32. Now I'm going to put links so you can go and have a look at this stuff and read about it yourself but this looks like it might be one of the options going forward for ESCs that support things like D-Shot for both multi-rotors and airplanes and even crawlers too. Now, interestingly, it sounds like Oddity RC, when they were manufacturing these latest ESCs, did get in touch with the BL Heli 32 guys, but unfortunately, they were declined, and that's probably worked out in their favour. But these ESCs that I have here, both the HF32 and the AM32s, are running version of that firmware. I'll talk about the differences between them in a moment. And also we have things like a Blue J 8S 160 amp ESC for those bigger, chunkier builds too. Generally, AM32, reading into it and talking to Oddity, is a better firmware for things like crawlers, where HF32 is better for airplanes and multi-rotors, where you have much higher KVs and much higher prop speeds. Now, you can flash HF32 to an ESC with AM32, but you can't flash AM32 firmware to a HF32 ESC. So that's also something to be aware of. So AM32 has a variable PWM frequency and a sine wave start mode. HF32, which again is the one that's better for airplanes and multi-rotors, has digital signal protocol support. So D-Shot 150, 300, 600, bi-directional D-Shot for RPM telemetry, has high performance, smoother RPM ramping, user configurations, including things like startup tunes, which I know some of you love, and lots and lots of tweaks. Both AM32 and HF32, just like BlueJ and BLLES, have a load of configurable parameters. And it can be a little bit trickier, talking to Oddity, to get AM32s locked into the motor that you're using. And again, AM32s are typically going to be used on things like crawlers. That depends on the motor, the KV, and the setup that you've got. Whereas HF32s tend to be a little bit easier to set up. They're essentially kind of BL Heli Blue J equivalents for use in planes and quads. So these ESCs units developed by Oddity has a six layer PCB. On here is an AT32F421 processor and available in two different versions with either the AM or the HF32 firmware. Protocol supported again uh, D-Shot 300, 600, PWM, at uh, HF 32 be aware doesn't support pwm it's designed to go with something like a flight controller memory sports up to 64k of flash memory and 16k of regular memory continuous current on both these are 80 amps burst current is about 90 amps peak power is going to be about 2000 watts uh, but that's not for very long at all voltage supported on these are going to be 3 to 8 s and size of these things are a little bit bigger than normal 36.2 to 24.3 millimeters but for larger quads and drones, things like 13-inch heavy payload FPV drones, large fixed-wing airships, uh, ship models, car models, things like that, these will be a great option. So I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of share that with you. I haven't come across either HF32 or AM32 on any ESCs before. 
and I'm going to be trying these out in the builds over the next couple of months. So stay tuned. If there's any big news, I will let you know. But it's nice to see options coming along for those who like to build bigger models. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.